Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man here today, and today we are doing our Monday deck tech. We are doing Mono Green Devotion, budget deck, very budget, uh, for you guys looking to get into Modern. So here's the deck list and price. It is 43.7 ticks, $121.60. Uh, for real world cost, the most expensive card in the deck is Eternal Witness, along with Beast Within. But you don't need to play Beast Within, but I would recommend playing Eternal Witness. Um, very budget deck. There are some upgrades you could put into the deck that we'll talk about later. And let's get jumping right into the cards, starting with our creatures. We have four Arbor Elf, really good card. Uh, it's basically a Mana Dork, like Elvish Mystic, but it also does other things with another card in the deck that I'll show you later. Two Elvish Mystic, just a 1-1 one -one that produces a green for one mana. For Elvis Visionary, and the reason you're playing Elvis Visionary in the deck is you really need to draw cards. This deck really lacks card draw sometimes, so I maxed the card draw out, unlike most people. Uh, for Voyaging Seder, this card will be good for the same reason Arbor Elf will be good, but it also untaps Nyklos, Shrine the Nyx. For Caravan, Caravan Carrioted, 2-5 uh, Defender, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card. 3 mana, 1 colorless, green, green. Adds your devotion count, blocks well against the aggressive decks, which this deck struggles against, and it draws you a card. So you have three Eternal Witnesses as well. Uh, get you good cards back like Genesis Wave, um, any card you really need back in your hand. Four Wistful Selkie, uh, enters the battlefield draw a card, another draw spell. Um, the most important part about this card, though, is the three green and its mana cost. Hornet Queen, one of, and then you have one Crater Hoof Behemoth. For your spells, you have four Genesis Wave. Uh, basically, you flip the top X card to your library, where X is uh, top X. You put all cards with another mana cost X or less into play. And uh, that's why you play Crater Hoof Behemoth. Trying to get your Crater Hoof Behemoth, pump all your dudes, or pump your Crater Hoof and just kill your opponent. Four Harmonize. Once again, I just want to emphasize how important your draw is in this deck. So you, you'll fizzle a lot of the times if you don't have a lot of draw. Played this deck a ton, and that was the biggest problem with the deck. You just don't draw enough cards. You also have one Primal Command. It does everything you need it to do. Uh, gains your life against the aggressive decks. Um, gets rid of a pesky permanent. Lets you grab your Crater Hoof from your deck. There's a lot of other things. For your mana, you have four Utopia Sprawl. This is the card I was talking about earlier when I was talking about Arbor Elf. Um, it's better than a Mana Dork because you have Utopia Sprawl. It is a Mana Dork, but it's better than like your normal like Lana War Elf Mana Dork. Because you have Utopia Sprawl and you're going to want to untap it. You have four Nykthos Shrine Nyx as well. And 17 Forest. So the upgrades I was talking about earlier were... Um, I and my I played this deck in paper a long time ago. And I had... Keswick Wolfrun on the deck. Keswick Wolfrun, some fetch lands, and a stomping grounds. You don't need the fetch lands or the stomping grounds. You just need to play some kind of red source in your deck. Preferably that comes into play untapped, like Rootbound Crags or something like that. And what this does is it allows you to use your excess mana to pump your dudes. For the sideboard in the deck list earlier, it said I had 16 cards, so I ended up cutting the dismember just to shave a little bit more off the price. Um, we have four Feed the Clans, good against the aggressive decks, good against any of the burn deck. Three Beast Within, three Rex Age, both uh, Beast Within is good against any deck that has any kind of pesky permanence that you need to get rid of to get your spells going. Reclamation Sage uh, is good against Boggle, is good against Affinity. Both of those decks are on the rise. So I think you need to play as many as you can. Four Cidic Slime, uh, just to interact with your opponent's permanent some more, and one Gaia's Revenge. So some upgrades with the sideboard would be Thrag Tusk, Scavenging Ooze. Um, mm, trying to think of any other cards I would add. Not that I'm aware of currently, but if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and drop them down below. Not just for the sideboard, for the whole deck in general. I would like to remind you guys to smash that thumbs up button if you guys like what you see and want to see more. Helps me out, helps you out, helps everybody out, and allows me to create more content like this on a daily basis. Also remember to comment down below with any deck suggestions, play suggestions, anything like that. Sideboard suggestions even. Also remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Uh, both links will be in the description below. Also, you can email me if you guys just want to talk to me about anything and everything. The link, that link will also be in the description below. Also, if you guys like this content, there is probably uh, more content on the channel that you'd like. So go ahead and just check it out. I would really appreciate it. Watch my older videos. You know, my quality has drastically improved. So there is that. Remember to subscribe to this channel so you can see more awesome content like this on a daily basis. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.